You know, there have been presidents before, Ronald Reagan, a number of them who have dealt with congresses of the different party and have been able to get things through, a lot of serious stuff through. Why can't this president? Well, we, we, have, we have made progress. We got a budget this year. This president has a legislative uh, record that stands up to, en to any Affordable Care Act, uh, Wall Street reform, um, array of issues that we have we've made progress on. But look, we're gonna, this is, Washington does not work as well as it should. Everyone knows that. Last year, the American people looked at Washington with the shutdown, the near default, the problems healthcare.gov, and they were frustrated. And so it's coming upon all of us, the president included, to try to rebuild that trust with the American people and make progress. And what they want to see is progress either in Congress or from the president on his own. And how much can you do? I mean, let's face it, the big thing is you have to get legislation. That's the way the Constitution is written. How much can you do through executive action? You can do a lot. I'll take two things from 2013 that don't get enough attention. First, the president put in place a climate action plan to reduce carbon pollution, taking historic steps, something he did without Congress. He, and then we also worked with the FCC so, so that we have an initiative in place that is moving forward to provide wireless access to 99% of school districts in this country. That is significant stuff we can do without Congress. You talk about income inequality. Some experts